We have them come on for on-site intensives, so the students do, and this is pretty um, standard over the graduate education and advanced practice. They come on site, and so we'll do lab skills and we'll prepare them before they're working out in the clinical setting. Um, we also then um, coordinate with, they have preceptors in whatever region they're with, and those are people that are, you know, in the, the discipline. Um, we're lucky we have many that have our alumni or have been in other online curriculum formats, so they, they are helpful to the students. And so if not, then they're interested in how the curriculum works. Um, so we build a really strong relationship with our preceptors. And then so when they're out in the clinical setting, we'll go and see them as faculty. Um, some of the other schools are doing some innovative things where they're doing virtual site visits and recording them and doing things like that. So we've started... Um, instead of maybe just phone calls to check in on, you know, during the semester, in addition to when we go to their site. Um, now it's a Skype, and again, sometimes it's that face-to-face. -face. It's just, it's different than being on the phone. And it's not as, you know, it might not be as rich as being on site, but there is a richness to it, and you can capture what you want to capture. There is a need still to have direct patient contact. You can't teach somebody how to insert a catheter without there being a person there you know, and now we do that on dummies. We've, we're doing it with simulation, but I can't tell you that somebody can actually do this if, if I can't see them doing it and, and be part of that. Um, you know, there's a lot of it you can do, but I think there's still an element that needs to be in person for a level of training. Now, that being said, if you've got your associate's degree, you're a registered nurse, and you're coming back and you're being asked to do more critical thinking, more political advocacy, more evidence-based practice, a lot of those things can be done very efficiently remotely. And, and they can apply to and still be derived from direct patient care. So it just depends on what level you're at and what you're trying to accomplish. Um, so I think there's a role for all the different styles of teaching, all the different modalities of teaching. And I think that's generally the feeling that you'll see in nursing. There's some people that are just adamantly opposed still to online in any format. Um, and it largely comes down to things like high stakes testing um, and accountability and proctoring and, um, and the issue of how somebody interacts with their computer may be very different than how they would act or interact with the patients.